Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. If you have been having trouble handling your child's difficult behavior, our next guest is here to help. We welcome back educator and family coach Amy Williams. Great to see you. Hey, great. Great to be here. So we're working on a series of certain behaviors. So right. let's remind folks that we have touched on not minding and mm -hmm. self-indulgent. Right. Two different types of behaviors. Two of four different types of you might call them misbehaviors okay. or bothersome behaviors. Yes. Ones that are just really hard for the adult and for them and for everyone around. Super challenging. So mm -hmm. today we are going to dive into routine not minding. What exactly does that mean? Right. So routine not minding behavior is different from, sometimes I call it straight up not minding, mm -hmm. when they, um, you, something is to be done and they don't do it and maybe they don't know what to do. Sure. Is straight up not minding. But routine not minding is when you know, something is to be done, or this is what we're going to do, and you know they know, right. but they just don't. The like expectation has been set. Totally. And you know they have the skills, they have the language, they okay. know where their coat goes, they know where the dishes go, they know that their laundry gets put away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They know they're supposed to be back by curfew, oh. and they just don't do it. <laughs> so it's and every from kid, I was going to say, every kid does this in some capacity at some point. They're just kind of testing their limits. <laughs> Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking you said every kid, and I'm thinking every human does yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, man, mm -hmm. it's true. Okay. Right. <laughs> We're still outgrowing some of our bad habits. Okay, so <laughs> you have some helpful corrections to work on. So practice making fun choices beforehand. Yeah, so that's, um, that's the fun part okay. that actually has a, a purpose behind it. So there are many ways throughout a child's day, throughout the week, that you can insert choice making. Okay. Like do we have green beans or carrots tonight? Would you like to eat in the dining room or in the breakfast nook or wherever? Mm -hmm. Where, what shoes would you like to wear, the red or the green, right? So all of those times when we can offer choice, even like getting in the car, do you want to get in on the passenger side or the driver's side, okay. just like that. So that gives a child um, practice in making choices. So you're using the language, would you like to choose this or that? You're using the word choose. Mm -hmm. um, Ah, oh, your choice. You ch oh, you chose to get in on the passenger side. Right on. Here we go. Okay. So that when something goes a little sideways yeah. and you say, "What's your choice?" Mm. they'll they'll remember that th that'll already be in their brain. Like, okay, choice. That's a great way to practice it. I do feel like I find myself in frustrating situations sometimes, yeah. trying to offer a choice, but maybe we haven't laid the groundwork ahead of time that they do have a choice. Right. And you know, there's always the either you can decide you right. made the choice, or or I can decide, right? Yeah. Which I would wait. I would hold that off to like the very end. Okay. Now let's be clear. If it's a safety thing, sure. Then there are non-negotiables like right. wearing a helmet or seat belts or. <laughs> running with knives. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there are all kinds of non-negotiables that every yeah. family's going to have. Those are, they're not, there's not a choice. Right. And different right. choices, I guess, are age appropriate at different times. Sure. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. How about consequences for those choices? Okay. Now that's where, that's where it gets hard. It gets really tough. Sure. Yeah. Because sometimes, you know, it might be that you're dysregulated or you're at the end of your rope yeah. and you're like, you're grounded for a month mm -hmm. when they just left their shoes in the hallway. Right. Right. So, that's also helpful to practice ahead of time and okay. maybe talk with, if there's another important adult, talk through, okay, if this is a behavior that happens a lot, so let's go ahead and decide the consequence. Yes. And then let your kid in on it. Mm -hmm. If, ah, uh, your shoes are in the floor, in the foyer, whatever, um, going forward, yeah. when they're here, then here's what the consequence is. So okay. you already like agree on it. Yes. Right. When, when everybody's calm and regulated and kind of settled. That makes a lot of sense. It just sets you up for, it's just a matter of fact. Oh, ah, here are your shoes. Yeah. The consequence is, and the beautiful art of it is when your consequence match the action. Okay. Right. So if shoes are in the floor, then maybe they don't have 10 shoes to choose, 10 shoes to choose from. Okay. Right. Maybe they have three. Oh, interesting. Right. And when you practice, yeah. when you're ready to make choices, then yeah, more. You can have more oh, to okay. choose from. They can earn them back as they show the well, appropriate behavior. As they show that they're able to. They're, okay. Mm -hmm. That's they great. They have that skill. Yeah, and then in the heat of the moment, you're not making difficult decisions. You've already laid the groundwork. Right. Okay. Like, oh, yeah. Okay, well, you were, la you know, 10 minutes past curfew, so yeah. that means 
next time you go out, then that's you know 20 minutes earlier. Your okay. curfew is 20 minutes okay. earlier. Okay. Next or time you're here whatever. next month, we're going to talk about aggressive behavior, yeah. and we're going to do some myth busting. So yep. we're looking forward to that. I know I might hurt some people's feelings. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We're going to prepare. Yes. We're going <laughs> to not judge, and we're all going to learn together. I know. True. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was great to see you. Happy to be here. <laughs> we'll have more on our website at katu.com, and we'll be right back with more afternoon live right after this.